What up, y'all? It's a nation and I'm back with another video. Today is Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Eve. Um, it's about to be Christmas. So I'm going to be cooking a dinner tonight. I'm going to be cooking chicken and dumpling soup. And as you guys can see by the title, I'll be showing you guys how to make it. It's really cheap, really easy. I will be making it in the crock pot, so I won't have to be standing over the stove and making my house extra hot than it needs to be. So, um, yeah, so let's get started. So before we get into this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and turn those post notifications on so you guys can see the next time that I post. Yeah, he's being a freaking crybaby. We're about to be doing some gingerbread houses too, you guys, so that's going to be super fun to do with him. But yeah, so let's get started with this video, guys. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I put this chicken inside of here. I only put a couple of pieces because it is a mini crock pot. I put one, two, three, four, five pieces in there of chicken with these little cubes. I put these cubes and I put some sazon packets in there. I put two of these, two of these, and I'm going to put about four cups of water because you put two cups for every pack. So I'm going to put four cups of warm water. All right, so then I have to cut up the onions, cut up the celery and the carrots. And then you put in the biscuits last, you guys. You want to make sure the soup is super, super hot before you put the biscuits inside. So this is going to take about an hour to start cooking and uh, maybe two hours, you guys, honestly. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but I'll time it and I'll put the for sure time underneath for you guys but yes so let's start chopping these up yes I did wash them off previously You want to try since I have a little crock pot I'm only using little ones I'm using little carrot I'm using a little celery but it just depends on how big your family is and how big your guys's crock pot is on how much you guys will actually cut up and use but like for like a bigger family you probably want to use like two carrots two celeries three carrots, three celeries, depends how much you're feeding. And if you want leftovers or not. So it just all depends on how big your family is. I'm only feeding two and I want leftovers for about like two, three days. So I don't really need that much. And plus my crock pies are really small. And I love onions, so I put a lot of onion in mine. Ow, my eyes. <sighs> my eyes burned so bad. So here's what they look like, you guys. So what you're going to do is just put all of this in the crock pot, and you're going to let it sit. Come back to it, see if it's hot enough, and then you're going to put in the biscuits. So let's put this stuff in there. All right, 
right, you guys. So this is what your soup should start looking like. Um, it is done. I just have to wait till it warms up all the way so I can start putting the dumplings in. But you want your chicken to be falling apart. You see that? You want your chicken to be falling apart. So now you just wait for it to warm up and then put the dumplings in. We'll be back. So I actually had to um, turn it off last night. Once it was all the way completely done, I turned it off so I can just warm it up for today. It's gonna be our Christmas dinner. I ended up making some chicken wings for inside of the, um, the air fryer that I got for Christmas. And they were so freaking good. If you don't have an air fryer, I definitely recommend for you to get an air fryer because they are amazing and they cook really fast and it was just super yummy, you guys. Very yummy. So now we just wait for it to start warming up and you guys have to make sure it's really, really hot before you put the dumplings in. And um, yeah, I'll show you guys here in a minute. All right, you guys, so the soup is hot enough. Woo. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open these up and ball them up and put them in here. So this is what the dumplings look like. Doesn't really matter what size they are. You can you guys can even do big ones. But you just drop them in. I like lots of dumplings in mine. Alright you guys, so this is the final look of it. I kind of messed up on my dumplings, but don't be like me. Make sure the soup is hot enough to put the dumplings in. And plus, I put in too much dumplings because my crock pot is so small. So I kind of messed up on the dumplings, you guys, but they're still super good. They're cooked perfectly. They're just, there's just a lot of them. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I want to taste the soup for you guys. Here it is. It looks so freaking good. <sighs> wow, I did that. Mmm. Want some? Nope. No? Nope. Yeah. The dumplings are made perfectly. The chicken fell apart, you guys. Look at that bone. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking bomb. You guys can also cook this on the stove. So try it out on the stove. Try it on the crock pot. It's all up to you guys. But I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. But... I definitely didn't make it the way my mom makes it. So shout out to you, mama, for the recipe. Thank you. She's the only one who's been there for us throughout this quarantine. She's been dropping off food to us, medicine, anything that we need, and I appreciate her so much. Merry Christmas, you guys. Merry Christmas to your family. I really hope you guys are enjoying you guys' Christmas. Um, it's not about gifts. It's just about being with your family and your loved ones, so... I really hope you guys are enjoying your time with your family and just expressing love. Show love to the world, you guys. That's the best thing that we could possibly do as human beings is just being kind to everyone and showing love. But all right, you guys, he wants my attention. It's Christmas time, so I'm going to give him all the attention in the world. We're going to need to be doing some gingerbread houses. That video will be posted soon, too. So be ready for that one, you guys. But yeah. Merry Christmas, you guys. It's the nation I read. And I'm out this beat. Bye. Bye.